I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be telling you about Nemesis, the star, the sun's evil twin, and uh, not not the movie, <laughs> um, the star, or now we think it's a dwarf star, if it exists, we, we're not even sure if it exists, uh, anyway, let's just get started, I'll explain, <laughs> okay, so, um, Nemesis, or where it might be, um, um, is outside of the solar system. It's outside of the inner planet and the asteroid belt. That's what you see on, on your left, or no, sorry, your right, that big band. Um, it's out past Jupiter and Saturn. It's also out past um, Uranus and Neptune. Um, it's out past the Kuiper belt. The Kuiper belt is this band of rocky debris. Um, and, and it's even out past the Oort cloud, which is out here. Um, so Nemesis would be. So here's our a great representation. In section one, there's that tiny dot in the middle of the sun. The and the innermost circle is Mercury. The orange one is Venus. Well, the most inner one, Venus, uh, right next to the blue one, which is Earth. And right after that is Mars. And then the last one right there is Jupiter. And then now that that shrinks into that tiny la, um, into two, right? That circle in the middle that it zooms into, and so it goes: Z Jupiter, the yellow one, Saturn, the green one's Uranus, and the blue one's Neptune. And then the purple one that kind of intersects intersects Neptune's orbit is Pluto. And that tiny dot in the top, uh, top, top right of the screen. If you can't really see it, well. Good luck. <laughs> um, so that is Sedna. And now that whole thing zooms in, and that purple orbit in panel 3 is Pluto, and um, that's Sedna's orbit. The red orbit is Sedna's. Okay. And that shrinks into this tiny little spot in, in panel 4. It, you can see it. It's like very barely vis visible. If you look at the arrow, uh, you'll see that if you pause the video right now and see if you can see it. Um, if you don't comment, I did not see it. If you saw it, then good job. You have very good eyesight. <laughs> um, uh, and comment, I saw it. <laughs> okay. And that big circle out on out at part mm, number four is the Oort cloud. So that shows how tiny we are. <laughs> okay. Um, so in other words, if this circle right here was the entire solar system, that would be the Oort cloud. Like that that yellow circle would be all the planet, the sun, um, and the uh, the Kuiper belt. Okay. And whoops. Um. And that dot out on the outside would be Nemesis. Ooh. <laughs> um, so that's Nemesis. So if we wanted to view it on this again, num panel number five shows um, a red orbit. And that is Nemesis's orbit. If it exists, of course. Now, why do we have a reason to assume that it exists? Well, the Oort cloud is made up of... Um, Made up of trillions, actually, we calculated the number, it's around 2 trillion. Uh, 2 trillion comets and asteroids, actually mostly comets, in the outer solar system. Now, why would one randomly decide to start coming in toward the sol inner solar system? Um, it's very odd, and we, we're not sure why. The reason for this could be Nemesis. If this is Nemesis, bam the um, asteroid starts moving. So we think that's why the asteroid, the comets start coming in. And the reason it's, it's called Nemesis is because um, it basically rains all the comets from outside into the inner solar system. And it hits Earth and bombards it and kills stuff every 26 million years or so. Um, yeah, so that's why we named it Nemesis. Um, so actually, here's a better representation. Um, so every so a, a reason for it existing is because every 26 million years, a mass extinction occurs. Basically, an asteroid slams into the Earth, and um, a lot of life dies. Uh, 26 million years later, the same thing happens. Bam! 
and then um twenty and then whoops twenty six million year later years later BAM twenty six million years later BAM twenty six million years later BAM okay I think you get the point <laughs> okay so um so maybe most stars in the in the in the universe are in a binary pair. A binary pair means two stars going around each other. And it's still considered a binary pair even if the stars are millions of kilometers apart. And maybe even a light year apart and they take millions of years to orbit each other. It's still a binary system. Um so does the sun have a binary partner? Maybe. Um, and that's why we think Nemesis might be real. But one problem: if Nemesis is of a star, shouldn't it? We should. Shouldn't we be able to see it? Because Nemesis is still uh, a theory. We're not sure if it actually exists. Um, so how do we know it exists? And why? Why can't we prove it if it's so bright in the sky? We should be able to see it from a mile away. Or no. Not a mile. <laughs> That's too close. Um, <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, okay, so so maybe here's here's another assumption. Maybe Nemesis is a failed star, which is basically a um, a brown dwarf. It, a failed star is it has too much mass to be a planet too little mass to have nuclear fusion in the core and become a star and in this image it's really frightening because like it's black with these red streaks across it uh, I think that's what, another reason they named it Nemesis um, and now it looks really scary <laughs> actually one side of the planet is like super bright but I took the other side to make it scary um, <laughs> um, yeah um, yeah anyway <laughs> okay here, and if Nemesis exists, here is its orbit. So, um, and its orbit is so large, it takes 26 million years to go around it. But every 26 million years, it passes into the Oort cloud and sends a shower of um, asteroids into the inner solar system. And that's how we can explain um, the, um, the, Oort cloud raining bombardment thingy. <laughs> That's what I call it. Raining bombardment thingy. Okay. So, uh, one problem though. If it's a brown dwarf, it should be giving off a lot of heat. So why can't we see it? Um, well, even if it's not giving off any light, it, it can give, us a, give off a lot of heat. So you should be able to see it with a thermal imaging telescope, which means it looks at infrared, not just red. So that's like heat, basically. So we should be able to see this for our thermal imaging um, telescope. And that red dot there is um, uh, Nemesis. Um, but this is what we actually see. Nothing. So, well, we do see stuff, but no Nemesis. So how can we solve this? Well, um, maybe instead of a giant gas planet, maybe it's just an Earth-sized planet. Maybe one time the size of Earth and pretty small. Um, so if that's the case, this is its orbit. Well, it's gonna be the same as the normal nemesis, but um, yeah, so, but in the recent years, the last mass extinction happened 64 million years ago when the dinosaurs disappeared. So it doesn't seem like another mass extinction is happening. Either nemesis got thrown out of the solar system not likely, or um, are, or it's it, it's not real, um, and the 26 million year coincidence is just a coincidence. Now, um, I want to just leave you with this simulation. This is a video that I recorded of Nemesis going around the sun, uh, if it exists, of course. Um, now it's so far out that it right now it's playing at a hundred ten thousand years per second, which is really fast, right? Um, and even though even though we're playing it at ten thousand years per second, this is how slowly it moves. Ta-da! 
Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, see your how to do something.com and also subscribe. Uh, like, press the thumbs up button, and I hope you like this video. Um, see you at howtodosoflison.com, and see you next time. Bye.